What's good, YouTube? Everyone, I two here back again once again. And today, people, today it's Thursday, so you know what I mean. Another Pokemon top five all lined up, ready to go for you guys. Now, last week with the choice found their top five ice type Pokemon or top five rock type Pokemon. And as you can tell from what's on your screen right now, the top five ice type Pokemon won. Now, this week's top five, as well as any top five that I do, is 100% opinionated, meaning that if you don't agree with it, then by all means, leave your own top five ice type Pokemon in the comment section below. My top fives are not based off of just design they're not based off of just stats they are based off of a culmination of things if you're looking for a list of top five ice type pokemon based off of just stats bulbapedia is your friend and last but not least i choose not to use any legendary pokemon in my top fives because i plan on doing a special edition of top five being a top 10 legendary pokemon towards the end of this season but without any further ado let's go ahead and get into the top five ice type pokemon Beginning our countdown this week in the number five slot. You guys should have seen this one coming. You should have seen this one coming. But in the number five slot, ladies and gentlemen, we have Delibird. He is one of my favorite Pokemon, period. If you guys have seen our top five flying type, spoiler alert, spoiler. If you just happen to see this, you ever seen the, the episodes in this season beforehand, then uh, I just spoil it for you. But yes, he's in our top five flying type list, and he's in my top ten favorite Pokemon, period. It's just Deadly Bird. It's a lot of childhood memories for me. I used him a lot when second gen first came out, and it's just like, I like talking shit with Deadly Bird. That's one of the things I really, really like to do, you know, I said, I got that, 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 that nice and powerful Deli Bird on deck, you know, I'm going to wreck you with a Deli Bird. Or sometimes I'll tweet the smoke on Twitter and just talk shit to them about Deli Bird all the time. It's all, it's all in, in, uh, in good fun, but just, just little shit like that. I just love Deli Bird, so he's number five. He had to be on here. In the number four slot, ladies and gentlemen, we have Vladimir the Weavile himself. Vladimir is just like the perfect nickname for uh, Weavile, I don't know why it just fits it so well, but either way, 4th Gen brought us a lot of really, really great Pokemon, and a lot of really, really good evolutions, and Weavile is one of them, it, you know, it's funny because they kind of sort of like paired uh, Sneasel and Gligar, or as I say from time to time, Gligar, they, they pair them all together, they paired them both together, and they both got really, really amazing evolutions. Weavile is so fast and hits so hard. Same thing with Gliscor. I think about it, my lord. But either way, uh, I love uh, Weavile. I love Gliscor. Weavile's design, especially the fact that it's a dark type Pokemon, it's just. <sighs> I was going to say it's so cool, but then I have to say no pun intended because it's ice type. Get it? Get it? Get it? But I'm. Either way, it's number four. In the number three slot this week, we have the mighty, the powerful Wall Rain on deck. Wall Rain is easily easily one of my favorite if he's actually you know what i don't know he might be tied with metagross i try and tell myself wall is my favorite third gen pokemon but he might be tied with metagross wall rain's not one of those pokemon where it's just like the moment i saw it i was like oh my god look at that thing that's fucking amazing i love it wall rain i don't know why maybe it's water type it's just it's just this big blubbery just he's about to fuck people up and he just takes the hits and he dishes out the damage i love him so much he made third gen so much better for me i love him i love him i love him i love him so we had to make it to at least number three on this week's list uh we did have some runners up every week we have runners up on the countdown that they're they're good pokemon they just couldn't make it i had to choose just five uh this week we have glalie bear tick cloister lapras obama snow and frost Lass. i know some people are upset about that but I don't know. Wall Rain's number three. He deserves it. He deserves it. He deserves it. In the number two slot this week, ladies and gentlemen, it's another one that you guys should have seen coming based off of previous lists. Jinx is number two this week. Uh, Jinx is actually very, very nice to play with. It's a very nice, um, what's the word I'm looking for? What's the, very, what's the word? What's the word? Novelty. It's a very, very nice novelty Pokemon to mess with because it's not like Jinx is good or in all situations. It's not a really universal Pokemon, but you guys have seen me use that Choice Scarf, Lovely Kiss, Lead Jinx before, and Jinx is power. Jinx is power. You can dish out some damage with Jinx. Right place, right time. It also gets dry skin, so you can switch into Pokemon that you, you're going to predict using the water move. Jinx is power. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So that's why it's number two this week. And claiming the number one spot is the Mighty. I already said Mighty for Wall Rain, but this one, you got to do it for the alliteration. Do it for the vibe. All right, do it for the alliteration. I'm going to do it. The Mighty Mamoswine is number one this week. Mamoswine, my favorite animal. You guys don't know is an elephant and i know we have don fan but the closest thing we have to an elephant is a mammoth and we have mammoth swine even though it's a pig mammoth but still either way mammoth swine i love just but as a kid when i played through it with elephant being my favorite pokemon i automatically had an attachment to mammoth swine 
and growing up and learning the game more and more, you know, learning about stats and whatnot, knowing that Mamoswine actually turned out to be a good Pokemon, it's kind of like the reverse of Delibird. Like, I grew up liking Delibird, but Delibird's a bad Pokemon. I grew up liking Mamoswine, and Mamoswine's actually a fucking monster. So that's why it's got to be number one this week. So, there you have it, people. That wraps up this week's Top 5 Ice-type Pokemon for you guys. Share with us your own Top 5 Ice-type Pokemon in the comments section below. And if you enjoyed, make sure you smash the hell out of that like button for us. Uh, if you did enjoy, actually I already said that, what the hell, I'm stumbling over my words! Anyways, when it comes to next week's typings that we can choose from, we have the choice between Top 5 Rock-type Pokemon again, or a newcomer to the series, Top 5 Fairy-type Pokemon, because the first time they went through this, Fairy type was not even a thing last year, but either way, let us know which one you choose in the comment section below. Share with us your own top five ice type Pokemon down there as well, and uh, smash that like button for me if you haven't. Thank you for all your support, and thank you for checking out the video. You know me, YouTube, Emperor 92. I'm out.